Hello, and welcome to the first of these examples that I'm sharing over the next couple of weeks of people who demonstrate in their following of Jesus their ability to share or to serve or to sacrifice. And uh, the first example tonight is a man called Beswada Wilson, who lives and works in India. You see, he's born in 1966 and is still alive. And I had the privilege of meeting Wilson, as he likes to be known, meeting Wilson in the mid-1980s, and then again um, in 1996, on the two occasions that I traveled to India. And the second time I met him in his office in Delhi, where he heads up an organization, which is uh, called, let me just check the name, Safai Kamachari Andalan, or SKA uh, for short. SKA is an organization committed to working with the poorest of the poor, and particular the people who work as manual scavengers. A manual scavenger is a, uh, a worker who uh, cleans dry toilets, dry latrines. Now these toilets are actually illegal under Indian law, but if I tell you that there's still a million or so manual scavengers in India, you can try and calculate how many dry toilets, illegal dry toilets, there still are, both in homes, in public toilets, and also on the railways. Here we see a worker clearing up the tracks after some of this stuff has been dumped on the railways. But Bezwada was born and brought up in a Christian family, a very poor family in southern India. And he, uh, his mother felt that he was very special. I mean, most mothers think their sons are special, but she felt in that he was special and persuaded his father and his two much older brothers to uh, sacrifice some of their wages, their meager wages, uh, to educate. Uh, Wilson, so he became the first uh, person in his family to ever have an education of any sort. And then in his teens, she felt he was definitely called by God to be a pastor. And fortunately, he agreed that he was called by God. And the family again sacrificed in order to send him to the theological college to train. And it was while he's had that theological college that he had an particular encounter with some manual scavengers that really upset him and he just felt God say to him I don't want you to pastor a church I want you to pastor the manual scavengers and so he set up an organization which now covers the whole of India there's him and a small number of staff paid staff in Delhi and then a whole network of volunteers around every state in India, working to do two or three things. One is to find alternative employment for manual scavengers who want to get out of the job. And often they're in it through family pressures. You know, a mother-in-law may have said to her daughter-in-law, well, you're going to work as a manual scavenger to earn money for the family. And it takes a lot of courage for someone like that to stand up to a family and say, no, I want to do something else. And so they will access training and support for them. Secondly, uh, they will demonstrate and get group activities to highlight uh, through the press and media and through social media the plight of the social, um, the plight of the manual scavengers so that uh, uh, the attention of Indians and the world are brought to this plight. And thirdly, they will take um, individual state governments and the Indian railways to court to get them to implement the law that is outlawed these dry latrines. When I met him in the Delhi office, I was with uh, three colleagues, three female colleagues. And uh, one of them said to him when we were asking questions, are you married? And he said, uh, no, I don't have time for that. 
and his staff laughed and they said to us he doesn't have time for anything other than the work and he is so committed and so dedicated he lives a simple lifestyle whilst heading up a national organization and is becoming better and better known and achieving more and more but all because he has sacrificed what could have been quite a comfortable career as a christian pastor not without difficulties of course but much more comfortable than heading up an organization that brings him in confrontation uh, with the authorities and so i found inspiration from meeting wilson and i think in his love for the poor and his willing to sacrifice his own comforts for them i see a disciple of christ